Hello, it's Cobra, and today I'm reviewing Channel 5 The Drowning, a drama about a mother named Jodie whose son drowned when he was four, but all of a sudden she believes she sees him walking to school, so she proceeds to follow him. What follows is an edge of your seat constant guest in game mystery thriller thing similar to the ITV drama Liar. Who is telling the truth? Is Mark really the father? Is Daniel really Tom? Or is Jodie deluded? All of this comes together in only four episodes, making this a mini-series. The best mini-series I have ever seen. I just love the story here. Judy and an immigrant who works for her get involved in an underground crime syndicate. And to top it all off, this chilling tale adds some family drama into the mix. As they all question and argue about who is responsible for Tom's death and or disappearance. The series is set nine years after the tragic event, and while Judy still grieves for the loss of her son... Ben, the father, appears to have moved on and lives with his new wife and daughter. The show has a great cast and a satisfying or gripping narrative. The acting here is exponentially better than the other shit that Channel 5 produces. The top three people on the cast of IMDb are Jill Halfpenny, and if that name sounds familiar, she played Kate Mitchell in EastEnders, and Jennifer Robertson in the aforementioned ITV drama Liar. Rupert Penry Jones, who was in Stanley's Lucky Man, Jonas Armstrong from Edge of Tomorrow, and many more. Jodie's character is that of a broken person, and the show is psychological in the aspect that it makes us question who she really is, and if some of her actions are erratic. She, she becomes a teacher after getting a forged DBS certificate, for instance, just to follow this kid around school and see if he really is her son. But also Mark, who is the person looking after Daniel, or Tom, is he really the father of Daniel or the kidnapper of Tom? You know, it really makes you question it. Directing wise, the director of the show appears to give us a slow burn feel in scenes and a constant cut back to the day Tom drowned. Camera work is really good here, although basic in most scenes it is great when coupled with acting and the technical side really works well and the practical. And the show's soundtrack matches the theme perfectly. It gives the story an 8 out of 10 because while its twists and turns are amazing, I don't feel the story is perfection. Tell me, what did you think of the show? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Who did you believe? And if this review is the first you are hearing of this show, will you give it a watch? Thank you all for watching, and if this review is the first you've seen of this channel, please like, subscribe, and share.